Hello guys and welcome to the Group D, uh, Group F, sorry, Group F of C-Story Cup, uh, Losers Game. Here's RDU, Ignite, gonna okay. present you the game. So we have Zale versus Nostam, two really good American players. Zale has Druid Shaman Warlock and Nostam has Mage Shaman Warlock. Interesting, Nostam brought Freeze Mage and uh, Zale just went for the standard lineup. What, what do you think of those lineups, Ignite? You know it's Freeze Mage for effect. You yeah, he played it earlier on stream. This was Mystic good. It's pretty similar to what we, we decided to take to GMAC Valencia from our prep. We, we took Freeze Mage and the standard trifecta of Warlock, Warrior, Shaman. Um, I have a lot of other people just had success with Yagdruid as their fourth. And that's what we're probably going to see here, which is always Warlock, Warrior, Shaman plus Druid or Mage is the most common right now in the meta. Yeah, I also brought the uh, Druid Shaman Warlock Warrior myself, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. Praise Yogg? Mm, I didn't play Yogg. You will? <laughs> Better praise that. Zu just carried me. <laughs> Zu just went like free zero in the first series against Zale. What Zu uh, you're playing? Regular? Mm -hmm. What Zu you're playing? Uh, the Acidic Swamp was Gormok Zu. Yeah, yeah, because I'm banning, I'm banning Zu. So I never have mirror match. So I only have like weapon classes. I only have like good matchups for the Wuz. And then Gormok is like, his power level is so high that I have to play it. Okay. I'm not sure I'm on board with that, but sure. Hmm. Back to the bands and such. So you say he's freeze mage, of course it makes sense since he's banning the warrior. And I'm gonna assume he also plays face shaman and zoo. Yeah. As per usual. Might be mid-range Shaman, actually. Not sure about that. Zale had mid-range Shaman, I think. When he played against me, he used Thorncrack. Okay, that's pretty interesting. I, but think, I don't know. I think mid-range Shaman has a, a good spot right now. So, mm -hmm. mid-range Shaman and Zoo and Yagdruid. Oh, we are in the game. It could also be Reno, but then again, he's banning Warrior, so it's not... So we have Zoo versus Shaman, game one. Zoo is, like, usually favored, but uh, interestingly enough, I don't think the Rough Guard Zoo is that good against Shaman because they don't run Forbidden Ritual. And without the ritual, yeah, it's pretty yeah. hard to like. I've been, uh, I've been trying this list out, but this list doesn't actually have knife jugglers and possessed villagers, so this is actually still zoo. But he just modified modified something for the wrath guards. Maybe he's also running ritual then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Interesting. Because you don't run knife knife jugglers and possessed villagers in the that yeah. new zoo deck list. You just go possessed, right? It's the best against everything. No. And like uh, leave. Hmm? Like if you, you don't get a on kill on Totem Golem, you know he doesn't. Yeah, he does. Like seventy-five percent is good enough. Because what you got two fifty. Yeah, you go like rolls. juggle and then you coin abusive. Fair enough. It's just super efficient because if you hit it in the first hit, then the second hit goes face. What if nothing happens? Do you coin gang. If nothing happens, you probably play rough guard, or coin gang, depending on like what you expect from your opponent. Okay. If you expect like Tasca, you can play like gang boss to counter it. So he's he has a really good play as he said, but uh, he plays into lightning storm, usually. You don't play around that. He doesn't even play no, the right. No, no. He's overloaded. That's true. That's true. So he's a two mana next. Yeah. And even if he there, if there was an opportunity for a storm, this is where you want the shaman to, yeah, to yeah. waste the storm. You know. See, always hit. <laughs> um. Yeah. Sir Finley Moulton. The thing with Sir Finley is that you can curve out into the flame rift faceless. But the disadvantage is that your turn is super bad. And you're not counting towards thing from below? Wait, I mean, Finley in Storm, so it's face Shaman with Tech. The Storm. thing is that he would probably never get thing from below for cheap this game. Like when you're playing against Zoo, you're like never getting this yeah, uh, turn so you can afford to like yeah. value totem and stuff like that. Now, what do you do here? You rough guard Voidwalker to put like the most pressure on the board. Yeah, I like the two plus one because then you got Gang Boss plus another Void Walker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I mean, in, in Gang Boss solid. is not that bad. In Gang Boss is okay. I like the positioning. Like, you don't want it on the far left side because you are never going to trade Juggler before you trade In Gang Boss. It makes sense. But now you get super punished yeah, by I the 7 7. And I, I really like his the double voids now. And now he still has to extend into Lightning Storm. So, like, why? Yeah. So he's going to play better. and go face. Yeah. We know that. That's the most logical. Yeah, yeah. You don't play around the one of Storm, or yeah, yeah. Zalai probably doesn't even know that he has a Storm in his face Shaman deck. 
he knows it was shown on stream, I think, earlier. Okay, so if you wasn't pay paying attention to that, you know there's a text charm, but regardless, you don't play it around one tech card. Yeah, yeah. Now the Indian boss is not even gonna give the extra minion. Yeah. Imagine if he had like the Ravgar last turn, he yeah. could like even trade into the 7-7. Seven, seven. Imagine if he rolls high three times. He would take seven damage, but whatever. Dude, this is what Shaman do, does. This, this is where it shines. And if he gets to roll th three damage three times here, he turns the game completely around, upside down. What if he trades? What if he trades? Four, six, seven. So he'd have to trade everything so as not to lose his storm. You yeah, trade, the abusive, you trade the abusive first, course, and then you trade the boss, and then if you hit, you trade the 1-1. One, one. Uh -huh. It's not that bad, but it's like super bad value. He had better value plays. Wait, what? Wait, what? Huh? Whoa. Okay, even if there's a storm, it rolls high, and all three of them, he gets the imp. But I still don't like leaving that at 7-1. He really values the Imgang boss. He wants to yeah, get more value out of that's it. that's true. Because it counters storm. I guess it's fine. Damn, he shoved in 5 damage just because of the possibility of Lightning Storm. He's got a lot of commitment just as not to, to get punished by one card. By the way, I think the classes are wrong on the overlay. Zali yeah. doesn't have mage, Nostam has mage. Yeah, that's true. It's just a little mishap. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised that people just opted to ban Warrior so much. Like, it's probably... Just strictly better to ban the zoom mirror match, and then you make your whole lineup. All three greater. bands are viable, but regardless of that, the meta is still still. Mm -hmm. Except for control shaman, thanks to me. <laughs> Just kidding. Control shaman. The so one that Frodunk is playing. Team guard. Yeah, I want to see his list looks pretty interesting. You doom guard, right? Yeah. Just doom guard, trade into the free four, and then like try to kill the one one, snipe it off. Do you kill the 1-1? One, one? Probably, yes. I mean, it doesn't really damage. matter. From this spot, you probably win either way. Because you trade Doom on the 3-4, right? Eh, yeah, sure. But then, don't you prefer that if you're still playing around the Storm, don't you prefer that not trading the gang boss? Because so, now you can high roll on gang boss as well. Whatever. So, like... I mean, if he gets triple high roll, he pings, he wins the game. Close enough. Double high roll is pretty good. Yeah. But he's still taking five instead of one. No Stam can still... <laughs> okay. Honestly, that No Stam can still do it, but... Damn, son. It's who dares play hurts, though. Who dares summon him? Yeah. This should be enough for Zolay to win it. Yeah, you're already pretty favorite as Zoo now. Imagine getting back-to-back -to -back Doomguards on five and six. That's a misplay. One miss damage. True. <laughs> Good point, Redo. Yeah. Every damage matters, man. Do you Argus? It's fine. It's probably better than playing the rough guard. You Does he run horse riders? I don't see a way yeah. for Nostam to like win this. I know he's just like using all his hand in order to survive. Yeah, yeah. It's not a spot you want to be put in. He's gonna be by three, he's gonna be a six mana next. But he can never face tag. He has like no minion either. So like whatever Zalei plays, he has no way to contest it unless he draws spells. And naked flame zone. Wait, again, another misplay. Missed another one damage. Okay. But sure. So the game's pretty done. Let's look how this goes LHS wise. So like Nostam has Freeze Mage left. He kills the Freeze Mage into the Zoo. In theory, he, sh he should be the Zoo. Zalei kills Agro Shaman into the Freeze Mage, beats the Agro which Shaman. Which is mid range Shaman. Mid range Shaman, which is not that good against Freeze Mage. Exactly. And then he doesn't kill it. Then he kills Druid, which is also not that good against Freeze Mage. Exactly. Does he just get so killed by theory, Freeze Mage? In theory, we had the best lineup in Valencia because Freeze Mage was a. It just looks very good on paper. Okay, let me explain you how Freeze Mage is to the viewers watching. Freeze Mage, in this current meta, is one of the best decks if you can play it perfectly. If you cannot play it perfectly, then it's not good enough to like give you a mass massive edge. So you'd just rather pick Druid. For example, at Valencia, I think I played good with Freeze Mage, but not perfectly, and that cost me the percentages that uh, made me just lose, probably. And here, I just brought Druid, and I went to zero. <laughs> so, <laughs> dude, feels good, man. Good old times, though. 
Or uh, Druid Shines. Druid is not that easy to play, though. But it's yeah, way easier. I, than, it's I didn't e it's that. easier than Freeze Mage, but it's also less punishing. You can misplay and still win. With yeah, Freeze Mage, one misplay. But out. it's very tricky. There's yeah, so yeah. many options. Hmm. Anyway, Zoo Mulligan versus, I'm assuming, Freeze Mage. As expected. So, what do you keep here? Peddler and Wrath Card, I'd say. I see a very good card in the Freeze Mage hand. I'm not sure if it's visible on the stream, but the Freeze Mage player has Doomsayer. That's kind of like insta win against yeah, isn't, pretty isn't it? How how good is Wrathguard at handling Doomsayer if you coin it out too? Not you very know much what I want because from you, you don't get the three you damage know, You know what I want from Blizzard? Mm. If Doomsayer kills your Wrathguard, you just lose the game, right? Ma he, he takes infinite damage. <laughs> you just lose the game. <laughs> it's not like Acolyte, dude. Otherwise, you'd be drawing infinite with Acolyte or whatever. Would you? No. Okay, but once. But he don't. Yeah, just kidding. Because it says I destroy the minions. So uh, they if don't. If there was like an abusive for three three attack buff, that'd be pretty yeah, good. This Doom Series is sick. Yep. Forces the zoo to tap. So like that means that the zoo just basically coin tapped, which is like terrible against Freeze Mage. And now Freeze Mage Four also has dome? a turn. Freeze Mage has a turn where he can like uh, arc in intellect without getting punished. Just like relaxed internet, in the like. <laughs> relaxed internet. <laughs> <laughs> when is it not relaxed? Shut up, Ignite. Oh, sorry, man. Uh, oh. I think you want the most damage output, however. However, going for the most damage output, which would be Wrathguard Voidwalker, would take away your guaranteed th 3 plus 1 on 4, but it would allow you to double peddler on 4. He went for Peddler first. So he's retaining the Wrath card. Do you think that's reasonable considering that by turn 7 there's going to be Flame Strike? And then you really don't want to have Wrath card on board when there's a Flame Strike. I mean, you only take 4. It's not that much. Don't you rather deal 4 while you're at it? Yeah, I, I, I'm. I'm. Because if you played it into Torch, Torch is off curve. It's not that bad. If you played it in Frostbolt, there's, you need to have a, a loot or a novice engineer to go along with it. Yeah, I totally agree. Like, if it was after me, I would always try to like put as much pressure as possible with the zoo in the early turns. Yeah, since you're so in favor, you really want to push the edges. Yeah, yeah. Especially against Freeze Mage. You just don't want to give him that much time. Like, he doesn't even need to Frostbolt. That's how shitty the board is. Like, nah, I don't know Frostbolt this. Yeah. So, do you ever... You do want to get Flame Impulse. This gets a lot of damage though. You can Flame Impulse. Double, double Flame Impulse and double Wrath Guard. Wow. Flame Impulse, Loli, and then Wrath Guard. I should play Loli Square. This no, it's from Pedal. Never mind. Man, I'm so tired. Do you play today? Uh -huh. No, do you play tomorrow. Today? Oh, I play tomorrow. I didn't sleep all night and had to travel. Like, the worst thing is if you play day one and you lose. Yes, I agree. You know that one of those players that we cast right now <laughs> is gonna like just lose and has four days of at least seed story is like the best event to lose into. You one just of those like players. You know what just, a friend like, told me the other day? I was playing Pokemon Yellow and I lost the very first fight with the, the, the starter Pokemon versus your rival. And my friend said, "You're one, you're one of those trainers, huh?" <laughs> just cracked me up. Wow. Anyway, back to the the Hearthstone game. No, but seriously, like, Seastog is like the best tournament to lose into because you can like still like relax, watch the games, yeah, drink a beer and forget about it. That's what one of those is going to do after the game. Hashtag no pressure, of course. <laughs> and they also came from America to Europe to play this. Yeah, he's going to have some fun with yeah. the boys. <laughs> <laughs> so now what? Uh, you play Wolf because you just want to get it in his face, right? Yeah, go Wolf, uh, Arch and Horse Rider to like push maximum amounts of damage. I could understand that, but I also like Gang Boss. I like Horse Rider more. Yeah, he's expecting the Blizzard. The Freeze Mage player just needs to like burst a bit more. This is better if there's Blizzard. He has a secret up, right? Yeah, he has a nice block. So, with the Ice Block up, you just play Emperor and then you win? <laughs> Is it? No, because it's still two turns to Alex. So, and you get popped next turn. He cannot pop you. play Taurus and you lose. 
Can he pop you and kill Thorison? It's pretty hard. 5, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17. Depending on Peddler. And then what's your Mustak plan if you don't want to play Thorison? Doomsayer pass? Nope. Give us the top tier analysis, Ignite. Tell us. What, what, what is the other play? Fireball face. <laughs> yeah, Fireball face is definitely better than Emperor. He's not going to pop you. Wait, ball... F Wait, what? Okay, so he's healing here for seven. Ice Lansing. For eight. Okay. Actually, for eight, not for seven. Ooh. You see. Four, he, can, he can pop if he wants. Four, eight, fourteen. Oh, you cannot pop, never mind. Sapard, you. Um, you just play a horse rider, probably what, play a peddler. What's the winning line of play here for the freeze mage? Because it oh, looks really oh, curious. Oh, oh, oh. If you play peddler and you get a 4 damage card, you okay, pop. Okay, yes, yes, yes. You play peddler, you get the 4 damage card, but pop. But you lose your entire board. Pop. And you keep a charger, though. Pop. Okay, I like this, actually. Yes. But you lose to ice barrier. You can also hit reliquary. Yeah, sure. I mean, but you go face anyway. Let's talk about a freeze mage just play though because he just bought himself some more time he just spent the um, the ice lands and he's looking for more time where he can thars and alex for example he could go thars into alex whereas he doesn't get popped here but he can still get popped next turn so he could never alex without having been popped already if you know what i mean what is Ale doing not tapping not doing anything not overextending i think he should have tried to pop right there's no there's no danger like if you pop him now you just Beat him. I think he should have dropped at least the peddler and check what's coming out of it. That's it. Okay, so oh, mm. it's 15 damage. The damage is stacking up. How does he win? If he plays Taurus and the top decks Ice Block, I think he wins, right? So, I don't know. Taurus and then top deck Ice Block, Ice Block, which was got three mana, three plus Frostbolt, four plus a fire. No. Plus a fireball. Stop trying to do to do math. You're not good at it, clearly. <laughs> Nine. He has the thirteen, and then Pyro doesn't kill. Block's not enough. Yeah, the Zoo player got an advantage because of the horse riders. Possibly. Or was it the Wrath Guards? Who knows? Tune in to the next episode. <laughs> nice joke. No. Like I mean. What's this list different? He plays the villagers, right? And he plays the knife jugglers. Like 601 with this list. And he plays... No, Lolly Sky from the Spider. But he plays... I mean, le let's get real. Like, the level of play at Starglider was subpar. And not only the level of play was subpar. I actually the didn't watch the it, the but I saw horrible. that 601. The decks were horrible there. I mean, I saw the same zoo top deck, uh, top 16 at Valencia, Ooh. for example. I'm just saying, man. Facts are facts. Yeah, facts means result being result Results oriented. Results speak from themselves. You don't have to be results oriented, Ignite. It's not good. No, he didn't pop a one. What's he doing? And he tapped. Why would he tap? I don't know. There's some questionable plays. What is this? Oh, <gasps> he's alive. Okay, so can I kill? No, I cannot kill. Blizzard? Blizzard. Ping. Face. 19. Ping. Face. 19. <laughs> and then you have draws for lethal, right? Because you have... Fish. I think you'd rather just Six, like... No, 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 no. no. Shut up, Ignite. You'd rather just like Blizzard and then ping the horse rider and then you go Alex your face. No. Why not? Top deck Iceland for game. Top deck Iceland for game is you're out. Is your must. But you don't need to ping the face for that because you can still go... Three, six, seven, eight, ping. No, you're one mana off if you actually top deck lands. So you have to ping face here. Yeah. That gives you an out. An out. <laughs> How no, many cards? An in. It gives you an 16. in to win the game. Now what? That's 2 out of 16 is 1 out of 8. 1 out of 8 is like 12.5%. That's more like hurts. Oh. <laughs> oh, never mind. Zalace. Interesting tech choices in the Zoo Warlock deck. Take him pretty to zero yeah. in the series. It's a hybrid of regular zoo with um, the new zoo we've been seeing around. Okay, hear me out now, Ignite. Que pasa? Nostam has zoo left, and Zalei has the following decks. Zoo Warlock, Druid, 
Ago Shaman. Exactly. Zoo is the best deck in so, the format. Is that what you're saying? If Nostam wins the mirror match, he can free Ozole. Just like that. Yeah, that's I think on average you can have like better strategy by banning the zoo and just targeting the warriors. So it's it less likely to get freed by warriors. So it's gonna come down to draws obviously, but it also comes down to a lot of tech choices in the zoo mirror. For example, a zoo with double C giant is gonna have an advantage. Or Zoom Guards also give you an advantage. And we know Zalai plays Zoom Guards. I'm not very sure on what Nelson's deck list looks like. But I see a Soulfire and a Mulligan. Everything, all everything else is just standard. Yeah, I don't think you even keep the Peddler as a lay. Peddler is subpar. Yeah, apparently it's pretty, pretty yeah, in the mirror. Starting first, they he have like... He kept it for the curve. I can agree to that. Yeah, it's fine. But it's not something you want on to you. What he wants is one into double ones. Yeah, yeah. Into three, and then like whatever on four to just uh, feed whatever. the curve. A ritual. An Argus. For example. Okay, so... He'll soul fire that. No. <laughs> of course not. He has double soul fire. <laughs> of course you don't... I like this. Because if he ever trades into the one one, the, the other one one kills it. And he can't trade into the abusive. Yeah, I actually like and it. And now he can go abusive soul fire next turn. And now Pedler is bad. Yep. And the board goes back to Nelson. Yeah, I really don't like keeping the Pedler. But then you have Horse Rider, which is going to equalize the board sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a weird, interesting mirror match because none of the players, from what I saw, runs Forbidden Ritual, right? Mm -hmm. So far, nothing else. And they both run double soul fire. Triple soul fire now for Zalei if he wants to opt for it. I mean, Blood Imp is not that bad. Zeal's yeah. Initiate is pretty bad. I think you pick up the Soulfire, just so you can get the Temple play on 3 or 4. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Hmm. It's pretty interesting, this game. Nostam has a, ch a good chance to win the mirror match. The score is 2-0, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah. Is it 2-0? Yeah, it's 2-0. Yeah, it beat Freeze and... Production, guys. I'm, I'm pretty sure Zalei didn't play Freeze Mage. I'm pretty sure he has Druid in his lineup. I'm pretty sure he saw Nostan playing Freeze Mage. So... Yeah, so Zalei has Druid. He doesn't have Freeze Mage. Nostan has Freeze Mage and he doesn't have Druid. And Zale is up to zero now. Okay, so what are we doing here? I like the Voidwalker draw, but we would need another one drop to go along with Voidwalker and Soulfire. Whereas, what else can you do? Horse Rider, Double Trade, and you can test both abusives, and you lose to a three drop. But you can get you can Soulfire the three drop, because usually it's going to be a gang boss. Hmm. Okay, Yup's not to do that. Finley is like the worst pick ever because... It's good on the board, but it's... <laughs> like, you don't want to change the hero power... Of course not. ...around which you made the deck. Uh, what about... <sighs> Sorry for all the yarning. Been a long day. Um, there's no clear option here. I, I probably take Flamem for later on, right? You just play Voidwalker or Soulfire to complement this turn. But neither of those drops is, is good here. Do you see that Nostam's cards are in German? Yeah, dude, he's getting used to the European, you know? Selen Fjord. Okay, I like the preemptive trade. Ooh, right off the top. And bam, the soul fire. Yeah. So he's gonna trade, trade, and he's gonna be left with a 2 2 and a 2 1. And we're gonna see a horse ride in the Zealous Initiate come down, which will put Zale ahead in the game, I think. Yeah. Unless there's a top deck ritual on four for Nostam. Yeah, has a disadvantage of running double soul fire. Yeah, let's, the only thing I see winning Nostam the game is a top deck ritual. And he needs to play. He doesn't run there. it in the deck. There you go then. Because soul fire kills any comeback play. Every time. Yeah. Coil awesome. would be pretty good here. Sure. He doesn't have the option of Coil. He has like PO, Blood Imp, and Saucy deck hand. He opts for the Blood Imp. Interesting. I don't know. He has to trade. Horse Shredder was the Salty was better, perhaps. Now I can play Bran. Yeah, Bran Dire Wolf. Alpha. 
You can buff the direwolf if you choose to. Yeah, so you have the option of going to 100% buff the direwolf. Do you want that? I think buffing Bran is better, so I think you play Bran. 3-5 because it doesn't die to Soulfire, but you saw double Soulfire get used already. I don't know. It's but sure, I like the 3-5. Yeah. I don't mind any of those. He got Taste the Bran. the RNG. People don't like 100%, see? Blizzard was talking about like, yeah, RNG is health, you can control it most of the time. People don't want to control it. People play Yogg, you know? <laughs> I mean, Yogg is on average really good. See, he plays Ritual. Damn. Okay, I guess. <laughs> the double soul fire. Yeah. Everybody's playing double soul fires. I don't know. If and I no agree. POs. Soul fire is weird. People jumped on the bandwagon of soul fire. What do you do here? Worst Rider face? Trade the wolf? No, I don't trade the no. wolf. He's gonna trade for you. No. Why, why, why would you ever trade the wolf ignite? Because you give him value on his wolf. Because your wolf is gonna be at two health. Whatever. It's not whatever. It's significant. Like, what's the chance of having it, wolf? Him? Yeah. He has three in hand. One is peddler, two life cards, plus the top tech. He hasn't played a single wolf. So it's more than reasonable that he's going to draw a wolf. And if you preemptively trade your dire wolf off into the one ones, you completely deny the buffs trading into the dire wolf. Then why don't you just trade all three? Not all three. I would leave the all three. All three. I don't know. Just do it. I think it's fine. Because then it's seven damage additionally. No, I think you either go full face or you either trade all three. That's how it goes. Is that how it goes? Yes, that's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I like the seven face. To be honest, Sea Giant hits the board. Pretty strong. Yeah, Dire Alpha is gonna do a lot of work here. So you tap. Tap Soul Fire, right? Or do you Soul Fire first? No, huh? Okay, you can Soul Fire first and opt for the 50 50. Yeah, because you can double Soul Fire the Sea Giant. That's pretty good. I like tapping first because tapping first makes no. makes sure that you have a better chance of keeping Dude, that so far. If this goes off, it's insane. It did. It's insane. I mean, you can do the same thing by tapping first, right? Two mana, kill a sea giant in a mirror. You no, if you tap first, you discard a second card. Why would you? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you discard a second card? See, you would discard the third so far. You don't want that. I like how you laugh like a mania. <laughs> it's a so far game, man. I don't know. I think it was better in average to tap because if you tap and you discard one of the cards, you can still play the other card, play the flame for the Drew card, and then I like, use the second Soul Fire. Regardless, there's a, f a clear 50 50 there that it either goes terribly well or f just fine. Last time I checked, 60 60 is better than 50. Than 50. No, but the, the situation where the second Soul Fire gets discarded, it's fine because you still got the 3 the 1 and the 1 1 to straight into the 8 4. And you tap and you can play the Flame Imp. Yeah. But yeah, it's why? Fi it's fine. It's not fine. It's fine. He played the best. Come on, Ignite. I, I, Come on, Reddit. Just, me, just me, give me him Twi the trophy. Me and Twitch had expected more from you. Aw. We want top oh. quality cast decks here. What's he doing with us? I think it's fine. He has Bran. No, that was a misplay. Was it? Yeah, because he could have buff buffed the, the Squire. And then? No, same thing. Go home, Ignite, you're drunk. <laughs> yeah, like, this is a spot where Zalei is never gonna lose. Because the zoom mirrors go on board only. The only way Nostan can win this is like so is like uh, Hellfire. Hellfire. Jagdag is actually pretty good, to be honest. And Wolf. It would be better if he had Ritual there, to be honest. Oh. Oh, that's sick. It's also like Brand. Brand. The brand. He can double trade even. Holy shit. Y you still like this first. Because you can double trade. Trade the free free possessed into the alpha. Yeah, this is dirty. Zale needs to go take a shower after this game. This is a loser's match already? Yeah, Nostam is gonna go out. Damn. Rip. Travel all the way here and lose. At least he can have fun afterwards. Enjoy. There's a bunch of mini games I heard. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of mini games. Guys, root for Team Anubis. We are yeah. the true team of Seed Story Cup. I mean, Anubis has like 
most of the Europeans and... Wait, who won points just now? This is double horrors, right? Yeah, it's double horrors. Okay. So they, they, they're nothing because they just beat good, each good, other. Good, 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 good. So I want the group for Anubis. Anubis power. Guys, come on. Team there's Red. No way, there's no way Nate wins. Team, us. Team, team Valor. On. Team Valor. Okay? Better know this shit. Shut up with your Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to do an outro, right? Yeah, this uh, was... What's going to be the next match, you know? There's Yagut mm. versus uh, Zalei, the next game. Okay, so that's going to be the deciders match to see who's going to be in second yeah. place in your group. We're not going to cast it anymore, so you can, like, uh, unmute to the channel now. Some better casters are going to cast the next game. They're not hearing this part. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this game so stay tuned for the next one the deciders match another player is going home are they yeah good he's in Ger he lives in germany so it's not that big of a deal for him if yeah, he goes I home just take a hike. but if zale goes home he has to go back to archon house which is like very far far away is it in this galaxy i think it's in this galaxy it's las vegas man yeah pretty good okay so right. that was our evening night stay tuned for the next match it's gonna be the deciders match i think so it's gonna be a lot of fun all right see ya